While researching trailers, we came across this one simple fact. No trailer is meant for full-time remote work. Today, I'm hoping to correct that by building the desk completely from scratch. I've never done anything like this before, so Caitlin's dad has graciously agreed to help us build this two-person desk for full-time remote working. While Caitlin's painting, I'm building a table. And while I say I'm building a table, Greg is helping out tremendously, Caitlin's father. Uh, he's bringing all of his knowledge here. Basically what we're doing is taking construction lumber. We're gonna turn this into a tabletop. The first step is to cut square edges for all the construction lumber. So right now we're going through that process. We had a couple requirements from this table. We both needed to be able to work comfortably and Caitlin wanted to be able to draw directly on the table. In order to get that perfectly flat tabletop with construction lumber, we first had to chop the edges on both sides to make seamless 90 degree corners. Before we built or bought anything, I mocked up everything online using a free program called SketchUp. This allowed me to see exactly how the desk would lie in the space to see if we had enough room and to also build in some storage in the middle. So because we're using construction lumber, all the edges are wavy and warped and everything. So first we had to cut a straight edge with the table saw with this one. Now we're gonna use this as a reference. We're gonna use this side, run it against the fence of the table saw in order to cut a straight line here. I would have no idea how to do this. So this is entirely him showing us how to do this. Thanks dad. With all the board edges cut to shape, we decided to pack it in for the night and continue the next day. So last night while looking at our table boards, we came to the conclusion that it might be a little too thick for us. So we're gonna try and plane it with this planer we just set up. It's brand new, been sitting in a box for a long time. So this is a great excuse to use it. The practice piece we just did turned out really nice. So fingers crossed. shavings that's crazy that's all from these boards over here nothing else it's wild we decided to use biscuits to hold the table together this is a pretty strong process but it's quite involved we had to make a measurement every 8 to 10 inches cut a hole on both sides of the board glue up both sides of the board and put the biscuits in the trick was all four pieces of board had to be glued at once Finally time to stain this beautiful desk that Daniel and dad have worked so hard to build. It'll be really hard to get an even coat over the entire 10 foot table. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one coat of the pre-stained conditioner, wait about 15 minutes for that to dry, and then go ahead and apply one coat of the mocha colored Minwax stain. And of course, enjoying a PBR while I do it and in the beautiful Arkansas sunset. So let's hope this works out.
right, so I'm about to apply the polyurethane to our beautiful table and we created this giant tent contraption so that we could heat up the space since it's super cold in Arkansas right now. So hopefully our tent works and the polyurethane goes on really well. The roller is just to get the material down quickly, but you have to be concerned about any bubbles, which is why you don't shake a can as you stir it. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. You just kind of like this, kind of like do this, see? Oh, that looks good. So, you go cross grain, like as long as your finish is going with the grain. And that's it. Dad and I continued the process of systematically laying down the poly with the roller and then smoothing out the bubbles with a brush. So this is going really well. My dad and I did kind of a roller and brush combo. We worked as a team to get the entire surface done. We're gonna let this cure for 48 hours in this heated tent with the dehumidifier and the heater on. So hopefully it gets a really, really solid first coat. And then once it's cured, we're gonna go ahead and sand the whole surface with 220 grit sandpaper and then apply our second and third coats of poly. have a few things more before we can install the desk. We need to finish the lower cabinet, which will be the main support for the desk, the bike storage, which will hold both of our mountain bikes, and we need to fix the back of the shoe storage. Okay, the time has finally come. We're taking the table from the garage into the trailer. It'll be the first time we have it inside, so we're really stoked to see how it looks. After a few finishing touches, we finally had finished our trailer remodel. We cleaned up, packed everything, and started our new life on the road. There was no way we were going to be able to cover everything we did, so if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to come back to the channel to check out the tour of our fully remodeled travel trailer. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Well, now we know what this space is going to be used for. It's Harry Potter. He lives under the cupboard. <laughs> oh. <laughs>